solidified plan to to speak anything. I'm like Andrew. I'm not a plan person. I, I'm right into it. Um, well, uh, I think how I'm going to do it. I'm going to structure it though, from my childhood to now. Uh, like when I was a child, every day I used to think about this moment about being up on stage and being able to say to people something great. But every time I got the opportunity to do it, I would always like just dive and just like take a dive for everybody. But one time I even faked an asthma attack just to get off stage. It was very bad. It was very bad. I, was like, I can't do this today. So like today I think I can kind of sort of reflect back on my childhood and as I grew up from being that guy who sat into the back of the crowd to the guy who just likes being himself and likes letting everybody know who he is, yes. that I am who I am and if y'all don't like it, well. So, like, I kind of, like, appreciate the maturity that I went through. Even though I'm not the man that I want to be right now, I'm glad I'm not the man I used to be. So it just kind of sort of is a humbling experience to be able to check, especially during this last week, because I never really reflected on my past until this last week where I realized, come July 12th, I mean June 12th, my mom says, you're an adult, I don't care where you are, get out. Um, so it's kind of nice to kind of sort of see this progression through my life, how I used to be this, this kid, and now I'm turning into a man. Um, from like making the poor decisions just because someone said that might be a good idea even though it clearly wasn't. Like maybe going some places that aren't. <laughs> Never. Um, <laughs> I will say this though, from joining this church, uh, I have learned more about God and how to be a good man and a Christian better at this church in like the year, year and a half that I've come here than any of the other churches that I've ever been to. Um, because it's like you, y'all hear that I can actually take, uh, that I'm never going to take granted from is y'all actually teach other people, give you that applesauce rendition of how to be a good person and just be a good person and God will follow and all this other stuff. But y'all actually teach what I need to do, the person I need to be and how to follow in God and in Christ's right so that I can be what he needs me to be and I, need, I can be what other people need me to be. And I appreciate that so much because before I came here, I actually wasn't a Christian at all. I was an atheist at one point in my life because I was a Christian, fell from, and then I came back. And I thank him so much because while I was still weak and fragile in that state of mind, y'all actually got me to that strength that I can actually go out and witness to other people and bring people closer to God. And I just thank y'all every day for that because y'all have no idea how much y'all have helped me for spiritually saving me and pulling me out of the fire, which I think that verse was said today. So I thank y'all so much because y'all have no idea with the little time that I've spent with you how much each and every one of you have impacted my life in the best way for me. And wherever I go, wherever I do, um, whether I am a nuclear engineer or whether I just end up uh, just being a, a chef on a ship, that I can actually take the Bible and take the word and the lessons that I've learned here and impact anybody anywhere. And I thank you for that. <laughs>